look at the JHS Overdrive preamp pedal. But first, coffee. Love my coffee. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell, baby. This is what it looked like when I took it out of the box. The chapters in today's video are What is this pedal? Why did I buy this pedal? Sound samples In the mix And final thoughts In 1974, the company DOD or Dodd started with two pedals, the electronic phaser and the overdrive preamp. These pedals were very large. In 1975, DOD released shrunken down versions of both of these pedals. In the mid-1980s, DOD created the FX50, which is very similar to the 250, but in their new enclosure and with a tone knob. This pedal is a recreation of the original 1970s DoD Overdrive preamp. If you'll let me wax sentimental for a moment, I'll explain why I bought this pedal. In 1989, I bought my first guitar and amplifier. Two weeks later, I bought my first two pedals on the same day, a Dodd FX50 and a Boss DS1. Obviously, I didn't know what was good. But I did know that these pedals made my guitar go brrrr, and I like it when guitar go brrrr. I always loved the sound of the FX50, but these pedals are almost impossible to find. They were fairly short-lived and rather quickly replaced with the FX50B, which sounds very different than the FX50. Then Josh made this pedal. In his video about its release, I immediately recognized the tones that were coming out of it. It sounds almost exactly like the FX50 with the tone knob right down the middle, which is how I always ran it. These sound samples were played on a Harley Benton T-Style with Fender 64 Telecaster pickups in it. It was played through a Fender Blues Junior 4 and mic'd with an SM57 and an MXL G-Cap. Here is the complete range of tones this pedal can produce. surprisingly versatile pedal considering that it's only got two knobs and no tone control. I really enjoy the way that boosting the gain 
just fills out that low end. It, it almost sounds like it has a slight low end boost as you add gain. The tones that you've been hearing snippets of all throughout the video, at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hear the full mix, the complete song that those tones came from. It's about a minute and a half long. Hope you enjoy it. Ultimately, it's got two guitars in it, but we're using four settings on the pedal. The SG goes into the overdrive preamp, and then the overdrive preamp goes into the AC-15 you see sitting behind me back there. And then I have an SM-57 and an MXL G cap on that. I use two settings on that, one for when it's playing rhythm during the A part of the song, and a different one for when it's playing leads on the B part of the song. The signal chain on the T-style is T-style, pedal, Blues Jr. sitting back here over this shoulder. And then I have that mic with a 57 and an MXL G-cap, the same exact mics I use on the other amp. Okay, so let's hear the complete song, all the electric guitars in this, we're run through this pedal with various settings. this pedal. It provides the overdrive tones I've been looking for. At $180, it's really priced comparable to a lot of other drives on the market. As a matter of fact, I ordered this and a Wazacraft Blues Driver on the same day for the same price. It works well with a clean amp as you heard when it went into the Blues Junior and with a dirty amp as you heard when it went into the AC-15. It's going on my board, and it's staying there, for now anyway. Thanks for watching. Once again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring my bell, baby. Stay happy, stay healthy, and God bless. See you next time when we talk about that Wazacraft Blues Driver I was just talking about. Mm -hmm.